having had the, the Thursday game and a, you know some guys that rested last week potentially back this week, it doesn't matter or maybe my brain's dead right That's now. That's okay. Uh, playing on Saturday, you've got more rest mm -hmm. than the Jaguars. How helpful can that be this Saturday? Well, I mean, I think it can just be helpful by how we use it. Um, you know, hopeful. You know, some of those guys that we um, that were you know, recovering or treating or whatever they were doing are going to be uh, be able to help us this week, uh, and and all be able to help us if they play well and we execute. Uh, so, you know, that's really what this game comes down to. Uh, Jacksonville's playing at a high level, and they're playing with a lot of speed and both level all three phases. So, it'll be it'll only matter on how we play, but you know, hopefully we've taken advantage of the time. With the extra time and desire for a different result, do you tweak the approach uh, leading up to the game this week? No, that's going to be, you know, prepare and practice. Um, you know, maybe try to limit um, some of the mental errors that we had on defense, take care of the football. You know, maybe we'll still still do ball disruption and ball security. Uh, we'll try to have an open field tackling drill, how critical um, – our ability to, to tackle those players in space. And they, they do an excellent job, um, well, whether that's Agnew in the return game, you know, all those things that we think are important for practice. You, you probably preach very well with extra, extra time to prepare. Why do you think that is? And are you guys conscious of that? Uh, I don't think that we're, we're necessarily conscious of it. I think we try to you know, do what's best for the football team and, and use some rest and recovery uh, mentally and physically. You know, and just try to do everything that we can to get them ready for the game and then, um, you know, try to execute the plan. You kind of preach that if you go out and win this week, it kind of rights a lot of the wrongs. The well, I think, week. you know, I don't know if that's the case. I just want us to be excited. I want us to, you know, hopefully we've, we've saved our best for last and, um, you know, that we can be excited coming to work and uh, preparing and then ultimately going on the road and, and winning. Mike, what gives you faith? belief in this team given the injuries and the losing of late? Well, I just have seen the leadership, uh, Jared. I've seen us compete in, in too many games. I've seen us, you know, be really, really good, play winning football. But then obviously, you know, we've all seen the things that get you beat uh, that, that we have to eliminate. So I'm hopeful that um, all the stuff that we've done, um, you know, that we think are positive and that would look like uh, winning football, you know, we can continue to do those things, and that by, you know, hopefully, meeting and practicing, and you know, eliminating some of the things that we just talked about, that that'll help us win. How are they better than, different than maybe the last time you saw them? Are they just doing everything better? Well, I mean, I think they're they're scoring a lot of points. I mean, they've they've averaged I think 28 points in the last uh, six games. You know, they're turning the ball. You know, I mean, the defense is is forcing turnovers. They've been opportunistic. Um, you know, they, they play, they do what they do. The strength of the football team on defense is, is up front. They apply a lot of pressure. Uh, they've, they've turned it over. And I think they're third in, in forced turnovers. Um, you know, the quarterback is distributing the football. You know, Etienne still runs with speed and, you know, has a lot of contact courage going through the hole. And, you know, if you don't get them on the first or second level, you know, it's a track meet. Your big money guys to, to play like it? Well, we've always said that your best players have to play good uh, for you to win in this league. So I think that would be the, the, the case uh, throughout the league. How significant would winning three straight division championships be, especially given all you've gone through? Well, I think just significant would just be, uh, you know, winning. Winning a game that, uh, you know, has a lot on the line, that's a playoff game. and. You know, you win and you, and you get to keep playing and you, and you get to keep coming to work. You made a decision on the quarterback? Yeah, Josh will be our quarterback. Uh, I've talked to both quarterbacks and um, let them know that Josh will be our quarterback for, for this week. And then Malik has to continue to prepare like a starter. Um, I'm fairly confident, in, you know, Malik's going to, you know, do something to help us win in this football game. You know, and so I just... Hopeful that he'll, uh, and I know he will, continue to prepare like he has and continue to improve uh, throughout practice. How was he, I guess, from the minute he came in the building as far as trying to get up to speed as quickly as possible? How, how have you been impressed maybe for, with his work ethic? With Josh? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think he came in right away and, and has done what a, a lot of guys have done. Um, 
you know, whether you, you know, go back to you know, use Dontrell Hilliard, you know, first day that he was here, you know, saw him at 8 o'clock, um, 8.30, meeting with the special teams after he got done meeting with Tony, you know, to try to get, you know, some of the, the base offense and formations installed and then going and meeting with the special teams coaches. And, you know, Josh has done the same thing, uh, put in extra time and, and studied and, you know, tried to prepare to, you know, with the game plan and understanding of uh, what to do, especially on a short week last week. So, you know, and he's worked hard here the last couple of days. How much more can you add to what he, what he's done and what he did Thursday night, uh, given a full week here now? Well, I, mean, I think that you know, there'll be some things and, you know, that we will try to add or, you know, maybe things that we practiced last week that, that we didn't run. Well, I think it's just going to be good to have a full week and, you know, be able to have a first and second down, a third down, you know, red zone emphasis. You know, that's probably where, you know, just hit, haven't been here as much as, you know, I think we need to dive into, uh, you know, his knowledge of, of the overall red zone and, and everything that's going on down there. How much different is it for the Jaguars having seen him play that game than it was for the Cowboys kind of seeing a blind? I don't know. You'd have to ask the Jaguars. I'm not sure. In your in your experience, going against a quarterback who hasn't you haven't seen versus one that you had a game on, how much different is it? I mean, I'm sure that they, you know, studied or watched. I'm sure the you know, Cowboys looked at some film from from prior experiences. You know, the limited regular season snaps that Josh had. Um, you know, one one game is is a little bit, but you know, I'm sure they're going to be prepared for for everything that that we could do on first and second and third down. Mike, when you look back at the film, what did you see from Josh that you liked, whether it be operationally or just his play that led to this decision? Well, I mean, I think that there was um, you know some good decision making. I thought he was was decisive. I thought um, he he did a nice job progressing through when we gave him time. Um, you know, in and around the line of scrimmage and, and, and coming out of the, you know, the huddle and just getting us into the right football play. And, um, you know, thought, thought he tried to, to take the, you know, the opportunity and run with it and, and lead. And, and um, you know, I thought, just think he gives us the best chance right now. I guess, you know, some coaches and maybe even you in the past have maybe waited to make an announcement like that at certain positions for competitive advantage reasons while maybe do it today and mm -hmm. that's just you know wanted to have an opportunity to, to meet with both of those guys and just to let them know um, no more no less Traylon started to kind of get back into a groove he seems to be giving you you know a couple of explosive plays a, a game here since he's returned from the concussion yeah I mean he is he's all you know I mean we also have to make sure that you know when, when things are going fast or fatigue sets in, I mean, we all wanted to play as much as as possible, but that we're, we're doing the right things that, that we're being asked to do within the play, uh, that we're lining up where, we're, where we need to line up. You know, just a lot of those things as the volume starts to, starts to increase and, and certainly understand, you know, how he can affect the game. And it's good to see him have some of those X plays and those catch and runs and his physicality and, you know, we even alluded to the play down the field, his body control. I thought, you know, thought they grabbed his left arm, and if they wouldn't have grabbed it, I thought he would have come back and, and made the play. So, you know, seeing some guys maybe drift out of bounds in those instances, it was good to see him, you know, be able to adjust his body, come back, stay in bounds, or even on the, you know, on the catch there at the end of halftime, you know, being able to control his body, stay in bounds and run, and, you know, we just got to, you know, be careful and you know, understand that that was a situation that we had talked about in training camp, you know, that comes up when you're in that field goal situation. Like, you're either going to have to score or you know, get out of bounds or get down for, for me to be able to call timeout. And, you know, and it's not a, it's just him wanting to go make a play and get as many yards. I mean, he's programmed to, to catch the football and, and try to be physical and break tackles. And, um, but those are all really positive things. We just have to make sure that. You know, some of the little details and overall understanding is good. Over, I guess. The last, over the last month or so, Mike, from what you've seen on Trevor Lawrence on film, how, how good has he been? Well, I mean, he's 14 uh, touchdowns, two interceptions. You know, he's taking care of the football. Um, you know, he's got a lot of playmakers. He's distributing the football. 
he's able to extend plays with his with his legs or you know some of the quarterback design runs i think that's the the thing is he's a, he's a big mobile athletic quarterback that's you know strong in the pocket uh, but then is able to to extend plays and keep his eyes downfield how much maybe could the week it would help a lot of guys but Derek specifically how much could the week off of maybe help him? again it's only going to we'll, we'll have to see how everybody plays and how everybody performs like that's the most important thing and you know, if we perform well, then it'll will serve us well, and that's the only thing that matters is is what we do this week and how we come in and our attitude and our preparation and then ultimately our performance. Mike, as many with, games as you guys have won around here over the last few years, and the core group of guys, you, you've had a handful of these sort of well, you've had one win and in, you've had first round games the last couple of years where they haven't performed at their best. What has to be different this week? Well, I think what has to be different this week is we. You know, we focus on the guys that are here and maybe not the ones that, that aren't, you know, that you mentioned too, and some of the core group of guys. There's, you know, we have to continue um, as guys come in, you know, continue to, to preach and to teach and explain um, what wins and, and what loses in this league and um, try to build a foundation, you know, with some of these guys that are kind of coming in. And adding, you know, as they add to, you know, playing a lot of football for us. I said it, you know, maybe Andrew Adams, you know, started to figure that out, you know, just using him as an example. And then some other guys that maybe have only been here for, for a week or two, you know, we have to get them brought up to speed of not just what to do, but, you know, why we're doing it, why we're asking them to do, you know, a certain technique that maybe they didn't do, you know, somewhere else and that we think is important because, you know, we have history of it working, and, and we feel like that's what's you know best for, for us and the overall football team. So, um, you know, just trying to do some things differently. We, we to start by taking care of the football offensively, and that goes without saying. You know, we moved the football, you know, had nine explosive gains against the Jaguars the last time. Unfortunately, you know, that all gets masked by four, four you know, critical turnovers. Fumbles. A lot of those are, are, are happening. You know, fighting for extra yards. Like, how do you get him to, to balance? Okay, you do want to fight for the extra yards. You also have to know when the journey's over. You know, in those situations. Well, I think that that's hard because there's so many times the journey's not over. Um, you know, I think that there's you know been some some good plays. I think he you know took a good legal hit. You know, coming back in bounds against the Jaguars. You know, I think the guys are. They understand that that's probably a, a really good chance to, to tackle him is by trying to tackle the ball or hammer the ball, and, you know, just his size. Um, and, and we can also, you know, we also have to do a better job. You know, maybe your block on the backside that doesn't seem like a big deal, you know, until the ball breaks and you know, it's a 10 or 15 yard gain and there's a guy, um, you know, it's not the guy that Derek can see. It's not the guy that the, the guy with the ball can see. It's the guy's. Uh, that they can't see, you know, and so trying to do our best is what we, you know, preach is protecting the football and the guy that has it. And there's only one football and he's got a responsibility, but but we all have a responsibility to to, to try to finish longer than the guy with the ball at a high screen, um, you know, to do all those things to keep those some of those turnovers from happening. Mike, even with a potential losing record going into the playoffs, why is making the playoffs so important to this organization? Well, I think it's important just because once you get in, you have a chance. You have a chance. You're in the tournament. Um, you know, we, we've had, you know, we want to have a consistent program, a consistent winning program. You know, we, we don't want to be in the situation that we've been in the last, you know, couple of weeks. Nobody wants that. But, you know, the reality is that we're playing for, um, you know, an opportunity to win the division, an opportunity to, to make the playoffs. So it's, it's, you know, winning is the foundation of everything that we do competitiveness, um, but it's not okay just to compete and, and not end up winning. We, we have to win. And like I said, we can go back and we can look at all these games where, man, you guys are really competitive, but, you know, we just came up a little bit short. And there's been throughout the last six weeks some really, really competitive moments. Unfortunately, you know, not good enough and not consistently enough. So, you know, we'll just have to put it all together this week. You guys decided for sure on uh, David Long for the open practice window for him? No, I haven't decided. I 
guess I was just curious about how excited was Josh to get the news and maybe what's your challenge to Malik to, to support him and to just keep working? Um, you know, I mean, Josh isn't an overly excitable person. You know, I mean, I think he was ready for the opportunity and is looking forward to it. You know, the message to Malik is to continue to do what he's been doing, which is you know, continue to study, continue to, to use the practice reps to his advantage, uh, to, to help the game slow down for him. You know, when he's out there, that's that's the most important thing. Uh, you know, I wish that we could go, you know, with more speed, you know, during practice, these last however many weeks of the season, you know, which we will be able to this week, I feel like. But, you know, the past four four to six weeks, it's been a lot of jog throughs, some walk throughs, some short weeks, whatever it may be. You know, so not only is that, you know, you're trying to get guys to the game, but then now those are some developmental reps that some other guys um, may not get. So so be a big week for him to be able to have some of that speed. Last week after giving him the news the first time, just for a young guy, how tough is that to, to have to ping pong like he has? Well, I mean, I think everybody has to be ready every day that they come to work to, to try to do what, uh, you know, try to put the team first, you know, to try to continue to improve. And, um, you know, his attitude's been great since he's, you know, since he's been here, since I've gotten to know him. So, um, you know, that's what we're all required to do. You were a tape of the first Jacksonville game, the mistakes on defense. What do you think are correctable, and where did you think maybe that you needed to change a little bit of what you guys were doing in that game? Um. You know, we got put on some short fields. You know, I didn't think we did a very good job of, you know, executing, you know, the third down and two that led to, you know, an easy red zone touchdown. Um, you know, I think we have to be ready to go, you know, quicker pace, whether that's coming out of the huddle. You know, talked about the MAs, you know, finding ways to affect the football, trying to, trying to bat some passes maybe at the line of scrimmage. Uh, try to you know get a fumble, knock some knock knock a ball loose. Um, you know I think we learned from from the end of the half situation. You know I think if you look from just one week to the next, um, whether that be from the end of the Jacksonville game to the end of the Chargers game, I think that's something that that we all learned. You know just trying to make sure that we're conscious of the situation. Um, you know. I think you just try to take a little bit out of each game, but but certainly um, that game, you know, their ability to, to to catch and run, you know, there were some you know, some short plays that turned into long ones, so we'll have to be better there. Presumably, this is the healthiest Jeff and Danico will be side by side since like late October. How much of a difference ca can that make? For well, I mean, again, they'll have to go out and perform, and they'll have to to try to do their best to. You know, work within a scheme, work with each other if they're they're working on a game together or they're, you know, working in a pass rush uh, combination. You know, but it's going to take everybody. You know, we're going to need their best efforts along with everybody else's. How did you guys found out about what we did last night when the game time would be next Saturday? How did it go logistically from 10 o'clock last night through today and t tomorrow, which I guess is probably Wednesday for you? Yeah, I mean, we were planning on going at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, you know, anyways, with the idea that it was probably going to be Saturday. And then, you know, they let us know, um, you know, a little bit before they let you guys know and then kind of go from there. Are they here today? Are you doing bonus stuff or just tomorrow? No, they'll be in tomorrow. And um, I think they'll be rested and excited and, and ready to start our, our preparation. It's been a while since we've seen Fulton. He got a chance to, to practice this week. I hope so. Guys are still the champs until somebody knocks you off. That was nice, of Doug. <laughs> you guys are underdogs in this game. How do you I'm sure view we are. yourself as compared to how he views you or he said he viewed you yesterday? I, I you know, I, I love Doug. I think he's, you know, he's a he's a friend. You know, he's a great football coach. Um, but but I'm just focused on our football team. I not you know we have a huge challenge going on the road in a great environment um, on Saturday night. So. You know, we have to uh, we have to play better. We have to play better, more consistently uh, throughout the course of a game in order to win. 